And the one that we have concentrated on here in Italy, because there seems to be more children with this type than in the United States, is HSAN type 4. And this one is associated with decreased pain perception and a lack of ability to sweat. <laughs> Bisogno diciamo di essere seguita perché è proprio come mancasse un senso uno di, fondamentale che è quello del dolore, il ritorno del dolore, quindi lei si è procurata delle lesioni molto gravi alle ossa, in particolare al ginocchio, per cui è costretta da circa due anni in carrozzella. When you go up the stairs, your blood pressure changes, your heart rate increases. In these kids, this does not happen. So they have a dysfunction when they stand up in the morning, they easily faint, they have syncopes. And uh, it is very important to diagnose these diseases with techniques which on the one hand are suited for the average neurologist who does not see those entities on a daily basis, since they're very rare. On the other hand, and this is those techniques are techniques which can be used by any average neurophysiology technician.